Hey everybody and welcome to a brand new video. So today we're going to do a special request. We're going to be looking at the Node Editor in Maya 2020. Here we go. This video has been made possible by RenderHub.com, the premier site for selling and buying your 3D related content, such as 3D models, HDRI files, sound effects, textures, print ready models, and much, much more. Okay, everybody, so we're in Maya 2020 and we're gonna be talking about the Node Editor. Now, I received specific uh, requests to do this video. And I need to warn you that the node editor can become uh, complicated very, very fast, right? There's a lot to it. So uh, the intention of this video is twofold. One is to explain what the node editor is and what it's for. And two, to show you a couple of examples so you can get started with it. It's by no means a comprehensive overview because that would be a 20 hour video, right? Okay, so that said, let's get started. So I'm gonna create a couple of simple objects. We're gonna go up to uh, create polygon primitives and we'll just keep it simple. I'll do a torus, I'll hit W and I'll move that over. And we'll go up to create polygon primitives and let's do a cube. All right, so we've got two objects. I'll put one over here and one over here. And what I'll do on both is I'll go up to modify and freeze transformation and modify and freeze transformation. Now you'll understand in a minute why, but basically what I want is if I open up the attribute editor and we look at the torus, the translated values are all set to zero and the same for the cube, right? And you'll understand later. Okay, so we've got these two objects. Now what's the deal with the node editor? The node editor allows you to build relationships between objects. Now, what do I mean? Let's say I take this cube and I hit R and I scale it up or down, right? Now, the torus couldn't care less, right? It doesn't care because it doesn't have a relationship with the cube. I can go in here and rotate it around, right? I can hit W and translate it around. The uh, torus is not affected uh, in any way because it simply doesn't care. Like I said, no relationship. Just go into the attribute editor, make sure everything's still zeroed out. Yeah, it is. Okay, and um, yeah, the idea is that we are going to build relationships between the two. So for example, if this guy scales, that guy scales. If this moves, that moves. Now you could say, yeah, well, you know, just parent it. Well, no, it's way more than that, right? So uh, you can not only uh, establish relationships, but you can actually cross link relationships. You can say, if this guy translates in Y, I want that one to scale in Z right? That kind of crazy stuff. And you can even go to a point to say, if you scale in a certain direction, I want this guy to scale half or go and scale in the opposite direction, right? You can do all of that. So that's what we're going to look at. So we've got these and what we're going to do next is we're going to go in and we're going to go to windows and we're going to open up the node editor. Right, here we go. Now let's move this to the side a little bit so we can still see what's going on. All right. And there we go. And we'll move this over here. Yep. And what we need to do next is we need to create nodes or make them visible in this window right here. Now it says press tab to create a node. We're not going to do that. We're going to do it in a different way. I'm going to select my torus, right? And I'm going to go up here and here is a little box with a blue plus sign in it and two horizontal white bars. Now with that selected, I'm going to click on it, right? This will add two nodes, one for the polytorus and one for the polytorus shape node. Now I don't need the bottom one. I don't want to see it. I don't want to delete it, but I don't want to see it. Now, if I can use plus to add something, I can use the one next to it minus to get it off of the window. So there we go, right? Now we're going to take the cube. We're going to hit plus to add that. And then again, the polycube shape node. We don't want to see that. We'll click on minus. So now we have one node for the torus on the left, one node for the cube on the right. Okay, cool. All right. Now, uh, just next to this, you got three horizontal bars, one white, two gray. So I'm going to click on this once and twice, and I'll get this drop down menu. Same over here. Click once, click twice, drop down menu. 
And now you suddenly see we've got translate, rotate, skill, visibility, all of that stuff, right? And on the other side, we have the same thing. So basically, you can link one to the other using the little balls that are next to it, the little circles, right? Now, before we do that, in front of these, you have these plus signs, and you can expand it even more. So we'll do that here, we'll do that here. And now you can see you have a lot of options to link, all right? So for example, you can link translate X to rotate Y. You can have uh, translate X to translate X and so forth and so on. So let's give that a go, right? Now, the reason why I set these two to zero, 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 so freeze transformations, is when we start to link these and say, you know, what one does, the other one should do, if I did that on the X value, the cube would jump to the middle of the torus, right? But you can forget about that. Right, so let's do a little test. Let's say I want the translate Y value of the torus, right? So going up and down, translate Y, let's click on that, it will get a yellow line here, and let's drop that onto translate Y on my cube. So now there's a relationship, okay? So let's see if that's true. I'm gonna select my torus and move it up. And there you go. It's moving equally. Pretty cool, right? Okay, so what if I want to have a completely different relationship? So I'm gonna delete that, select this guy again, if this guy moves in translate Y, I want this to translate in translate Z. Okay, let's try that. Select it, and there you go. Working perfectly. Okay, control Z to go back. Let's get rid of that. Okay, let's say I want all translate values uh, linked to all translate values. So I'll select this guy right here and drop it onto this guy right there, right? So now if I select this guy and I want to move it around, you'll see it will follow along in all directions. Okay, cool. Right, so you basically uh, know how that works, right? And uh, you know, if you want to do a lot more than just the ones mentioned here, you have the ball up here, you can click on that. You got all sorts of other options here. And if you go to other, you got even way more than that, right? Okay, so let's get rid of that. Now, the next thing is, and I kind of mentioned that already, what if you want to do more than just link one-on-one, uh, -on -one, right? So what if you want to have one skill up and the other skill down, or one move left and the other move right, and so forth? Now, what you can do is you can add a utility node. Now, a utility node is kind of a filter, if you will. It can uh, multiply, it can divide, and so forth. So we're gonna add one of these nodes in the middle right here, and the way to do that is we're gonna click on the window, we're gonna hit the tab key. As we do that, we get the little uh, type bar here. And I'm gonna to start to type in uh, multiply. And here you have the option to select multiply divide. Now, when we do that, we get this node. And again, on this node, you have these little bars. So click on it once, click on it twice. And here you have the plus sign again, plus and plus. And then we have everything open, okay. Let's move that over here and move that over here and put that in the middle. All right. Now, let's say we want to have these translate values linked. So I'm going to take all translate values. Here we go, right? And I'm going to drag that to input one because I don't want that to be specific on X, Y, or Z, just input one, all right? Now, here you got the plus sign as well. I want the output right, right here going straight in to translate. So basically now there's a relationship where not a lot changed. If I select this guy and I move it up, it will move as well and it will move as well and so forth. So go back and go back. But now we have the option to play with that multiply or divide setting. So we're gonna go into the multiply divide that is now added to the attribute editor. And here you have your inputs. That is the input on the torus right now. It says that the translate values are all set to zero. We have the multiply value selected. You can also do the divide, but we've got the multiply right now. And then you have input levels that are all set to one. Now, if you multiply something by one, it doesn't change, right? So let's go in here and change that to two. Okay, so basically, if I now move this guy around, this should move twice the distance, right? So let's see if that's the case. And as you can see, it is, right? 
So if I move this up, for example, you'll see that the cube will go way faster. Now, that's basically the idea to this, right? So you can go in here, you can uh, divide it, you can multiply it based on what you want, and you can change all these values. Now, I think that's more than enough for an introductory uh, video. Uh, so you know what the node editor is. It's there to build a relationship between individual objects. And we used two right now, but you have all sorts of options to create more. Uh, it's up to you to find uh, cool ways to do this. You know, what would you use it for? But again, that's up to you. Let me know in the comments what you did use it for. And that said, as always, thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you didn't do that just yet. And see you guys next time. Bye.